Hello. Just want to give you a quick update about what's been going on with this little horse. Quite a lot, really. Um, since my last video, we've spent over 40 hours in the round pen where she's been working out for herself that bolting is not the answer. And I've been impressing her with my leadership skills so that she feels that she can place trust in my leadership because I am faster, stronger, with a longer reach and more stamina than she has, which are qualities that horses respect. Of course, none of those things, none of those things are true. But it's in the round pen that you can show the horse that these things are true and you hope that it carries on over into the real world. Good girl. So, how I've been doing this is with the use of the drive line. Um, the drive line is an imaginary line on the horse going from the withers down. So incorporating the point of shoulder and back to the elbow. So it's this line. So when, so where your body is in relation to the drive line on the horse will influence, hello sweet pea, will influence what the horse does with their body. So being neutral, staying here, you can do something, an exercise called mirroring, which is where you harmonize with a horse. And that can be very relaxing for the horse and build trust. However, in the round pen, I did the mirroring for a while and then it, of course, as I intended it, it started to annoy her. And she wanted to get away from me. So if you're here on the drive line, you're in neutral. Anything you do behind the drive line will cause the horse to speed up or you can disengage the hindquarters. Anything that happens in front of the drive line, and you put your body in front of the drive line, it will cause the horse to slow down and stop or turn away. So she's She's been really funny about the top of her head and her ears, so I'm doing lots of rubbing, because what was happening, I touched the top and her eyes, extraordinary, they literally bulge and you get a big red ring around them and then she's off. So, doing lots of top of the head work. Anyway, so yes, in the round pen, what I can do is prove to her that I can stay at her drive line because if she speeds up, I can too because I'm obviously just doing a tiny circle in the middle and she's having to belt all the way around the edge. So she has tried everything and I do mean everything. So she'll, I've slammed on the brakes. Um, she's slammed on the brakes, so I do that too. Then she'll stand there and think, and then she'll blast off at top speed at gallop, so a standing gallop start, and I just keep staying with her. And just, just proving to her that I am every bit as good as her, if not slightly better. And she's flashed at me with her, with her back, yes, with her back legs going round. She's shown me her heel and she's um, come at me. So she's belting round and I'm keeping with her. She'll poke her nose at me with her teeth bared and her ears flat back. Um, and when she does that, obviously you have to correct that because if you don't, that can lead to a full out attack. But I just like to correct it by just going <coughs> jog on because that keeps my sense of humor, which is important. Hello. Yeah. 
Doggy going past. Doggy going past. Don't eat my microphone. Um, it keeps my sense of humour and it does just the right amount to say, yeah, I've noticed it, that was rude. It doesn't intimidate me. Don't step back when they do that because that's telling them that they have made you move. So it's been pretty successful. I'm, I'm very pleased with what's happened. And we are now working in the manege. We're out of the round pen. We're working on a 22 foot rope and doing all sorts of normal horse things, which hopefully I'll show you very soon. Hey. Okay. So now I'm just going to back her into her stable because one of the things she does when she gets stressed is she still thinks power and speed are the answer. She, it's not a bolt as such because I can hold her now. But she does lose confidence and when she loses confidence, hello, she blasts through things. So I like to get her to go into small claustrophobic spaces calmly and with thought. Okay. Yeah. Good girl. Don't bosh into the door. Yeah. Good girl. That does deserve a sweetie. Thanks for watching.